Hi, welcome to Audiobook Academy. This is a self-paced audiobook. There's no need to keep an eye on things. Just pay attention. Thank you for taking the time to listen. This is an audiobook summary of Reinvent Yourself by James Altucher. Every day, people reinvent themselves. The ability to reinvent oneself is essential for achieving positive outcomes in one's life. The only thing that remains constant is change. Every few years, the world's greatest artists and business leaders reinvent their respective fields. You, too, must reinvent yourself every five years by learning new skills, putting new efforts into practice, and trying on new occupations to see how they fit. Every day, ask yourself, who did I help today? And record your answers. You haven't applied enough determination or been fearless enough or been willing to do whatever it takes to make something happen in your life if it isn't working in your life at the moment. We were put on this planet to give it our best shot. No one is giving us a grade. I always say that first and foremost, one's own physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being must be prioritized. For example, every day, jot down 10 new ideas. Make sure you're surrounded by positive people. Be thankful, and so on. According to the Internal Revenue Service, the average multimillionaire has seven different sources of income. Every five years, you must reinvent yourself by learning new skills, putting new efforts into practice, and trying on new occupations to see how they fit. The definition of reinvention is Different people have different definitions of freedom. This includes lowering expectations, increasing sources of income so that no single source has complete control over you, and so on. Relationships are being improved. This includes the presence of A+, plus, a minus, and an equal sign. Sam, Ryan Holiday's film Ego is the Enemy inspired James to come up with this concept. Identifying mentors who can assist you. Find friends who will encourage you and push you to your limits. Habits. You're the average of the five habits you have, the foods you eat, the ideas you have, the content you consume, and so on and so forth. Reinvention is the essence of life. This is the call to adventure that we hear incessantly calling out to us. Do we respond to it? Do we take the call? Says the group. Learning never comes to an end. Many people die at the age of 25, but their bodies are not buried until they are 75. For them, learning came to an abrupt halt. In order to influence others, language must serve a purpose. We are not a powerful species. We are helpless. We were saved by the language of influence. Speak in order to infuse life into an idea to be enthusiastic, to convey emotion, and to exert influence. This is the only way to make a difference with your individual creativity, says the author. What James learned from Chris Voss, a former FBI hostage negotiator who served as a special agent in charge of hostage negotiations. Whenever possible, you want to obtain more information in a negotiation while making the least amount of commitment on your part. Ask open-ended questions, which begin with the words how or what. Inquire of a large number of them. Prepare your how questions in advance by writing them down. First and foremost, get the other side to say no. To accomplish this, pose a question to them such as, do you want this project to fail? Or does it appear that this situation will not work out for either party? It is because they don't want to fail that they will say no. You can now begin to look for areas of agreement. You can begin to develop empathy for the other side by listing the negative aspects of your own position. After that, they begin to agree with you. No one wants to be in a position of powerlessness. Alternatively, if the negotiation is not going your way, you can say to the other side, it appears that there is nothing you can do. For example, if someone says, this car is $36,000, you could respond with something like, listen, I understand it's very difficult to go below $36,000. I'm sure you're doing everything you can to make things work here. The most I can afford is $32,157, which is the absolute maximum. Whatever the other side says, repeat the last one to three words that were said by the other side. Try to do this as much as you can. You shouldn't be afraid of remaining silent. Look yourself in the mirror and then have the confidence to go silent. Your goal is to get the other side to engage in as much conversation as you can. The greater the amount of information you have, the better. And the more likely it is that they will bargain with themselves, the better. If the other party specifies a deadline, you are under no obligation to meet it. The negotiations will continue indefinitely. They still require your assistance. When the day is done, instead of thinking about what happens after death, ask yourself, who did I help today? That allows you to live a better life. There is nothing that will provide you with a better death. People don't remember what they don't like, says the researcher. Mac Lethal is a fictional character created by Mac Lethal. Every day, 
one choice at a time, you make a decision about yourself. Every one of your fears and hopes are mixed together as you choose yourself, and no one knows what is going to happen to you. However, if you approach it with a sense of mission and a firm belief in your vision, you may find that what happens is not what you expected. After making the decision to be yourself, you will never think to yourself, I wonder what would have happened. It must be because I haven't used enough determination, or I haven't been fearless enough, or I haven't been willing to do whatever it takes to make it happen, Wayne Dyer claims when something in his life isn't working, he tells himself. The difference between improving, or not improving, by 1% per day is hardly noticeable. That's why it's so easy for people to say, nothing is happening, and in doing so, they unwittingly cost themselves 1% of their lives every day. If you concentrate on that 1% improvement, everything changes. In his own words, what's the difference between good and God? Wayne Dyer pondered. The correct response is oh. Not only oh, but also zero. So whatever makes you feel good, whatever energizes you and illuminates your inner being, that is what God is all about. He's telling you that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing right now. I spend my entire day looking for situations in which I can save a life. And I'm the one who does it. I save at least one life every day, I say. You have the ability to save a life right now. Don't let the sun go down without taking care of it. When deciding whether or not to work for someone, integrity, humility, and doing your best are by far the most important considerations to take into account. I always ask myself two questions before embarking on any endeavor. What is my plan B? And what is my evil plan? As a form of exercise, I try to come up with at least one thing to do every day that is outside of my comfort zone. Don't wait until it's too late to pursue your passion. What you love is always waiting on the shore, patiently awaiting your arrival, welcoming you with open arms. Careers, according to James' theory, take between one and three years to complete the necessary studying. It will take approximately two years before you begin to earn any money in your new career. It will take three to four years before you are able to make a living from it, and five to six years before you are able to put it to death. It does, however, necessitate daily effort. Sergey Brin used to conduct interviews with every prospective Google employee. He later explained that he knew whether or not he would hire someone within seconds of meeting them and that he would spend the rest of the meeting attempting to learn at least one new thing from each interviewee in order to ensure that the meeting would not be a complete waste of time. The essence of choosing yourself rather than allowing anyone else to do it for you is to care greatly for creation. When people associate the value of their lives with a single activity, it is lethal, says the author. I have to remind myself to mix up my celebrations on a regular basis. Celebrate the insignificant. It's not always about the big. We were brought here to see if we could do it. No one will give us a grade. If I spend the rest of my life attempting to achieve that 1% improvement every day, I may never achieve world-class status in anything. Nevertheless, I am confident that I will perform at my highest level in every situation. When I get out of bed in the morning, I look out the window and say to whatever it is that exists outside of myself, help me save a life today. Each morning, ask yourself this question about your friends, your lovers, and your employees, how can I help them just a little bit more, with the simple resources I have at my disposal. Keep an eye out for new opportunities to make incremental improvements. In the game of chess, there is a saying that goes, only the good players are lucky. Until someone declares bankruptcy, you have no way of knowing how much they are worth. Can you describe a typical good enough day for you? Can you tell me one thing that helps you get past that? As a manager and leader, I've only ever judged my success on one criterion. Does the employee go home at night and call his or her parents to tell them, guess what I did today? Says the entrepreneur. Never allow the practical to get in the way of the possible says Albert Einstein. You will have more traffic and money than you could have imagined if you ask yourself every day, how did I help people today? As the saying goes, escape from the labels, titles, and expectations that everyone else has for us is one of the first steps toward choosing ourselves for the success that we are meant to have. When you are at a fork in the road and your heart is drawn to one path but not to the other, forget about which path has the most money and the most work and follow the path your heart is drawn to. The ability to continually develop new metrics for measuring oneself, competing with oneself, and moving beyond one's previous plateau is essential for success. Learning to be happy with less is true wealth, says the author. We are all in pain. Nevertheless, we must all transform our suffering into the art and energy that motivates us to make positive changes. It will always be better if you take the time to explore the rest of the iceberg you are currently sitting on top of, says the author. Success isn't worth anything if it brings about misery. 
The theory of deliberate practice developed by Erickson is as follows, it's not about 10,000 hours. It takes approximately 10,000 hours of practice with the intent of improving. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Please don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. See you in next audiobook. Thank <laughs> you.